Well, last year, Inside Indiana Business was the first to report on a robotic toy being developed at Purdue University to spark kids' interest in robotics. Now, just days away from commercialization, Inside Indiana Business reporter Kylie Valletta is here to tell us uh, how the technology is already making ways and about, Kylie, right, to hit store shelves. That's right. We're days away, Gary. Zyro was a big standout at the recent Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, earning one of three Best Maker-Friendly Technology Awards and generating a lot of chatter at the show and in the national media. The toy is the brainchild of Purdue professor and chief scientific officer Karthik Romani. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me. Last time you were here, it was a very early prototype, so it's gotten quite the makeover. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's come alive and it's looking much, much better and almost ready to go. So what makes this robot toy unique is that it's a kit and it's controlled by a glove. So tell us a little bit about how this glove moves the robot. The heart of this robot is a smart glove, as you can see. I just turned it on with a shake of a hand, and then, you know, it's, it's really cool. And then I just switch it off with a shake of a hand, and it's very natural to control things using your hands, and we have kind of made your hand come alive in the real world. And also, you can build any kind of robot with these modules. You're not just limited to Zoe that you see here. It's a humanoid robot but you can also build rovers or anything that you want. Right, with. so you guys made the cardboard. So the actual kit is just these modules, these individual modules. You can go into the recycling bin, you can dig out anything you want, you can design it however you like, and it's a different robot every time you play with it, if you want it to be. Absolutely, yeah. So you, you can bring your imagination to your life and control it intuitively with your hands. So we basically deconstructed robotics and made it very simple for and very approachable for everyone. And what I love as a parent who has to buy a lot of toys, that it's, it's completely just, you take it apart, it's Velcro. So you don't have tools, you don't have screwdrivers, and you can just take it apart and make it whatever you want it to be and then play with it a different way an hour from now. <laughs> Absolutely, so time to play, you know, we have just reduced it so much and all this came because of our innovation in terms of the modules and how you put it together. So tell us about the CES show and uh, what was your takeaway there when you got that great response? CES was, was a big eye-opener for us. We knew that we are going to do well, but at the level at which we have done, best of CES finalist and so on, it was really amazing to see that people were really engaging with it and they got the idea of what we were and how we were different from all the rest. And you told me one thing you realized too was that this isn't just for kids and you were discovering that as you were at the CES show. Absolutely, yeah. So what we found was adults really want to play and they like to play and this allows them to build all kinds of things and gets their creativity out as well. So it's for everybody. It's for children and for adults. And we have been covering this from the beginning. And one thing we talked about in the very beginning was that it's gender neutral. And that's partly to get young girls interested in robotics too, because a lot of the robotics toys on the market are very masculine and just don't appeal to girls as much. Right, yeah, Zyro uh, and this whole kit allows it to be very approachable, but in their own way, children can choose the materials, they can choose the process, they can color it, they can craft it. So it allows them to do what they want while they build it. And that's one of the part of the magic in terms of making it very gender neutral. So we don't have the exact date of when it's gonna be on sale yet, but tell us when you're anticipating that happening and if people want to buy one from a Purdue professor invention, what, how do they do that? Yeah, it's going to be up. The website is Zyro, Z-I-R-O dot I-O, and the starter kit is going to sell for 149 and the full kit for the limited uh, time period in the Indiegogo campaign will be selling for 199 So you just take out your wallet, and you're ready to go. And I think he's moving. He likes that. Yeah, <laughs> he wants to come alive. <laughs> yeah, he wants to come alive. And uh, just real quickly, um, you hope to manufacture in Indiana, ultimately. Yeah, so uh, I think the heart of manufacturing is in Indiana and, and uh, coming from Boilermaker Place, we want to make it in Indiana. Well, thank you so much again for joining us. Best of luck as you send Zyro out into the world. It probably feels like sending a baby out there that you've worked hard on. So thanks for coming. Thank you. Gary, back to you.